morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we are here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. It's early and we're gonna take care of the animals. Come on along. We don't have running water outside right now. We haven't put the hoses back in, um, and we only have it up close to the house anyway. So I do the filling here. I made it a little bit warm so that if it gets frosty this morning, um, it'll take its time. What are you doing, lovely girls? They do this when it's cold, and sometimes when it's not. I'll be back in a minute with the foods. Birds first. I've got chicken food. Um, Top the girls up with a little extra bugs this morning. I'm trying to encourage them to lay more regularly, but it's still early. It's not spring yet. It's okay. It's gonna be intermittent for a bit. Good morning, fancy girls. Good morning. How are you today? It's chilly today, huh? Is it frosty? I don't want to say that chickens are a gateway drug, um, but they're, they're kind of a gateway drug. As far as chicken math is concerned, I have been lucky enough to not really have been that infected by it. And by that infected, I mean, we're probably going to add one or two more to the flock this year. But I don't feel the need to go buy baby chicks every year, you know. What did happen, though, was that once the eggs were coming in and I started to get really comfortable with the fact that we weren't going to be low on eggs, the goats were the next thing. Hello, good morning. Hello, hello, good morning. So this isn't a complicated or lengthy process at all. We are, we're small scale, so that makes it easy. And you know what, usually Bill is out here with me during the work week too, because he gets up early for work and he's, you know, ready to go by the time the animals need to be fed. So it goes really fast. How are you? How are you? Huh? You like a little scratch scratch? Piper likes a little scratch scratch. Yes, she does. Hello. 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 Can you come see me? What's up? Come here. Come here, Pipes. So the girls have hay out here, which they lay in. Hello, baby. Um, they also have hay in their home up against the wall. And that is full right now, so they're okay. Drummy, drummy. Hi. So this is my super chill morning. I get to hang out with these folks. This changes the way that I look at my morning. There's something really special to waking up with the animals. Being in solidarity with these critters has really kind of made my mornings more alive. The trick, of course, is to get out of bed in the first place. But once I can get out here, um, it all comes together pretty well. Kind of makes the morning happen. So in the spring, there's a lot more going on out here. There's a lot more to handle. Um, I would be dealing with any kind of garden stuff, probably greenhouse stuff. We'll get there, we'll get there. Um, but for now, it's just, it's pretty chill. You know, we don't have a lot of, of creatures, right? <laughs> 
Uh, we are small scale. We're, I'm totally into that. It's absolutely manageable. Um, so that's the morning routine and it takes about 15 minutes all together, you know, fill the water, put the coffee up, get the animals fed. And sometimes I linger out there a little longer because it's morning and I have goats. <laughs> it's the little things, y'all. We have goats and how nice it is to get up in the morning and see them. So I don't want to say I get up with the sun, but I get up with the sun. Um, that was accidental. I'm not sure how that happened, but more or less, I'm kind of hardwired for early at this point. Uh, I've been up with the chickens for three years now. Um, and it's just, I just think that repetition and doing that every day for a little while kind of got me hardwired into it. So I'm up with more or less with the sun. Um, and that could be 5.30 in June, but it's February, so it's seven. <laughs> That's even better. Um, but there's something nice to to being up with the sun, getting into the rhythm of, of natural morning. Birds are making noise. Uh, the lady across the street is letting her ducks out. There's, it's good. It's good. Sometimes I run into people walking dogs and I get to pet a fluffy buddy. It'll grow a little more intense as the seasons go by, especially if drummer is knocked up and we have babies and then we'll be on to milking and that kind of thing. Um, and as the summer progresses, we're going to be fooling around in the garden and I just can't wait. So yeah, that's our morning. Um, pretty simple, pretty gentle. I'm going to sit down and watch some of yesterday's news, which somehow is less distressing than today's news. Um, and it definitely has fewer commercials. Who really wants to be marketed to in the middle of all that crap? But yeah, do a little bit of yoga and get my day on. So thanks for getting up early with me this morning and trucking around. I will catch you up soon. Take care.